not going to be a direct lower back exercise. It's going to be more of a full body tension and a lot of core stability. But remember, the core isn't just your abs. The core is the abs, obliques, and the lower back. None of y'all stopping me. I need the axe, chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes, crossing eyes, stopping T's. Lines are blurred, I cannot see. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, I'm top three. He's telling me how many reps I gotta do. Okay. Okay. No worries. What is going on, YouTube? You are back with the Prez. We're in Juniper Park today. Start of a new week, and we got time this week. So. The routine for the week is gonna be what we like to train as of late, push, pull, leg split, upper, lower routine, right? So we got a five day split this week just because I can get into five day training session. Today is gonna be a pull day. Yesterday we actually started with push on Sunday. You guys would've saw that video drop this morning. So without further ado guys, we're gonna start weighted pull ups today. I'm gonna do a few warm up sets, body weight, 35 pounds, and then we're gonna get right into the working weight today. Staying at 70 pounds, like I said, really working on hypertrophy now. Trying to keep the loads a little lower, but hit that eight to 12 rep range, three to four sets for our main movement. Of course, we're gonna hit some rows, some bicep isolation, a full pull workout. Let's go. Not really. trying to really pull fast and explosive and then uh there's two speed reps warm the nervous system up 70 pounds like we said aiming for eight to twelve reps three to four sets see you at the working week all right guys getting into the working sets like i said we're gonna be working with 70 pounds today the goal is to hit on set one ideally i want to be do better than eight reps i was hitting eight reps a few pull workouts ago so i'll be happy with nine ideally i want 10 reps and then depending on how the first set feels and how actually set two feels, I decide if I want to do three or four total sets of this. So 70 pounds, let's get it. What's up, buddy? That was nine good reps, every rep chin over the bar. I really could have four for 10 there, but it probably would have been too much, clo uh, too close to failure, right? It would have had a bigger drop set, bigger drop off in the sets to come. So really happy with that. Remember guys, don't think hypertrophy means you gotta take 90 seconds, two minute breaks. In order for me to get another nine reps if I wanted, I gotta rest. So I'm gonna take at least three minutes here. Let's get it. <laughs> today always room to add sets down the line right but when the reps are getting hard enough and you know you're getting those effective reps you don't gotta overdo it we got a lot more pulling work to go let's go all right let's go we got our horizontal 
pulling exercise. We're gonna be doing ring rows, high rep body weight. Feet are gonna be here, so I'm gonna have a high elevation. So I'm gonna be on a decline. Which remember that when you're on a decline in these rows, it's gonna make the exercise harder. Remember when you're doing to make them easier, you would want your feet on the floor for this, right? The higher angle. And of course, I just smacked my head. But as your feet get higher and your body goes on this angle, the leverage gets harder. So high reps here, 10 to 15 reps, really focusing on that mind-muscle connection. Now I want you guys to pay attention to the form here on these rows. Every single set, and you can go back to any time I do rows, right? You want to make sure you're in 100% full body alignment. You do not want to have any breaks in the hips. The most common mistake people make when doing the rows is when they come down on the eccentric to full lockout, they let their butt sag. That shows that they're not engaging the core, they're not engaging their glutes. Remember, this position should literally mimic an opposite position push-up, right? So if I took a picture or a still shot of my body doing a row at lockout and flipped it upside down, it should look at it should look like a push-up at lockout, right? Full body tension, one line. Do not let the hips break. If you do let the hips break, that one, you're losing engagement in the glutes, and you're probably not really focusing on that mind-muscle connection. So hit these rows the right way, guys. And if it's too hard for you to do them on a deficit like this, do them with the feet on the floor like I showed you the easy variation and get used to keeping that body under full body tension, full body control. Uh. Oh. All right, so our main vertical and horizontal pulling exercises are done. Now we're gonna get into some lower back work. You guys very rarely see, see me train this movement, but it's a staple that I've been doing on the rings for a very long time now. And it's not gonna be a direct lower back exercise, it's gonna be more of a full body tension and a lot of core stability but remember the core isn't just your abs the core is the abs obliques and the lower back so by strengthening just the core in this manner is going to help you strengthen the lower back so watch this is going to be similar to an ab wheel rollout but we're going to be doing them on the rings here guys Now this movement, you could also see that when you come to the top, you're almost going into a piked position. This movement in general is gonna help you strengthen that compression in the abs, that compression at the hips, which is gonna translate over to having a stronger core when it comes to moves like tuck planches or straddles movements like that, right? Because you have to learn how to engage the core and engage the glutes and sometimes get into a piked position and then contract and squeeze the glutes. So this is going to teach you how to really engage and disengage the lower back, the core, the glutes for more advanced movements. And one other thing you guys need to remember when performing this exercise, whether it's on the rings or on an ab wheel, you're going to notice that my lower back and my hips, they never sag, they never sink. The same thing I was explaining with the rows, right? You don't want to have that break in the hips. And if you can maintain that tension without letting the hips break at all in this movement, you're going to get a deep, deep contraction in those lower, lower abdominal muscles. Part, something that you're really not going to experience in any other exercise. Dragon flags won't even hit the abs. 
the way these rollouts do. So try these out, do them correctly, and I guarantee you're gonna really, really be hitting those lower, lower, deep abdominal muscles that are extremely hard to target. guys ending the pull routine like always now with some bicep isolation work ring body weight curls i don't have the vest on today so we're gonna be going for again higher reps here All right, 15 reps on the first set. Two more sets here. I'm not gonna film the remaining sets. And that's a wrap for the full pull routine, guys. So you saw two main pulling exercises, one vertical, weighted pulls, one horizontal, the ring rows. Then we just hit a little bit of lower back and core isolation work with those ring uh, or ab turnouts or whatever you wanna call them on the rings. To finish off here, some bicep isolation. Say this many times, you don't need to do 10 different exercises in one session. You guys rather, it's more beneficial to pick two or three exercises that are really beneficial to give you the most bang for your buck, that are gonna stimulate the, muscle, the most muscle groups and help you target the areas that you wanna work on and hit them strong and effectively, right? Take them close to failure. No need to do five exercises because by the time you get to the third or fourth exercise, you're gonna be fatigued anyways. So two to three max effective high stimulus exercises and one isolation for your bicep or triceps all you need full pull workout you guys saw the push workout drop before this you got legs tomorrow day off then you'll see a full upper body day like always guys i appreciate the support like the video it helps youtube share it with the world if you have a comment or a question leave it in the comment section i always get back to you guys if you're not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button get your friends and your family to subscribe share the video don't forget to check out the website, barnnaturalfitness.com. Get yourself some merch, tank top shorts, or go get yourself a program. Or you can hit me up for one-on-one, -on -one, online or in-person coaching. Like always, guys, I appreciate the support. Peace out. Bar Naturals. Sad story, I ain't here for a symphony, no sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling, my time's coming.